Good afternoon. Today on DIY Solar Power with Pop-Up, I have a subscriber that was having a problem connecting his EG4 server rack battery or lithium iron phosphate battery 48 volt system to his inverter to the 12 kilowatt grow watt. So I want to go over it real quick. Um, I'm going to turn everything off here and... I had it all connected and I'm gonna disconnect all this stuff right here. So, the, uh, we're gonna turn the battery off. Okay, the grow watt, 12 kilowatts off. We're gonna go ahead and shut down our battery here. So if you start with your batteries disconnected or turned off, there's no lights on, so this breaker is in the off position, this breaker is in the off position, this switch over here is in the off, and this switch is in the off. So the one thing you need to do is you need to connect your ground to your ground on your battery if you're gonna have two batteries. And it doesn't matter if you have two, three, four, five, it's the um, same for the second battery on. Um, so you're gonna connect your negative cable here and then you're gonna connect your positive from the bottom battery to the top battery, and your negative from the top battery to the bottom battery so that you're in parallel. So you wanna go in parallel, that keeps you at 48 volts. If you try going in series, you would go uh, 96 volts. You don't want 96 volts. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is, is we're gonna connect our positive after we've parallel our batteries together to our, our battery. We have an Anderson quick disconnect cable that we use and that runs right there to the bus bar, the plus and minus, and then goes through that breaker and then up into the inverter. So we have the positive connected on the bottom battery and we have the negative connected on the top battery. Negative on the top, positive on the bottom. You could do it the other way. You could put the positive up here and the negative down there. But you want to be able to run from one battery to the other one. You don't want to hook your positive and negative up here when you have these two batteries in parallel. It's not going to charge really well. So you want to be positive, negative, or positive, negative, one of the two. So... Um, and if you had three batteries, you wouldn't connect it to the second one. You'd connect it down. If the third battery's down here, you would connect it down here. If the fourth one, you'd connect it down there. So we have these batteries off. We've got them connected in parallel. And we're connected to our inverter and our inverter's off. The first thing we're going to do is on our battery communication right here, we're gonna plug in that one, and we're gonna plug in that one. Now, if we had another one, we would, if there's another battery below this, we would plug in a communication in this one and go down into that one, into the third one. And if we had a fourth one, we would have this one open or that one open, one of these two open, doesn't matter, they're both the same communication. Uh, they go to the same place. You'd plug into there and go into the fourth battery, fifth battery, sixth battery. Now, the one thing that you have to realize is this one right now is my master battery on the top. The master battery on these dip switches has to be in this order. One down, two down, three down, four up. So you can move these switches up or down. Those are all up. So we go one down, two down, three down. Oops three down, and the fourth one, we push up. That is your master battery. Whatever battery you choose for your master, it has to be set on this setting. Now, the next setting, I have it set up where it's one down, two up, three down, four down. So it's different from this one. This is the only battery that can have this ID on it with one, two, three down, and four up. That's the master. That tells the inverter this is the master battery. This is just a communication. It communicates from this battery to this battery. So 
this one has to be a different one and each subsequent so battery after that has to be different so maybe on the third one i'd have one down two down three up and then the fourth battery i might have one up two down three down four down they all have to be different you cannot have an id the same on any of the batteries they all have to be different so if we take and do this so far and then we put this cable, the RS-45 cable in here, in the RS-45, we would connect that up to the BMS. Oops, there it is. The BMS right there. So the... RS-45 on the battery to the BMS over here. Now, we can turn our batteries on. Turn that on, turn the breaker on, turn this switch on, turn this breaker on. It's lighting up. Flip our breaker. And we should start getting some lights. There we go. The inverter's powering up. Now, I already have this set up in lithium mode, but the, the way to set this inverter up for these server rack batteries is you go into the enter button right here, press it till you get the number one flashing. You're gonna go the up button right there to two, three, four. Four is your battery setting. So right now it's set on, number five is the battery setting. It's set on lithium. In order to get there, you have to press the enter button until the lithium, the LI, starts flashing. Now when it flashes, you can use the up or down button if you're on user two, AGM, flooded, user, you have to get back. Whatever battery you're on, you need to get the lithium right there. Once we have LI on the screen, we're gonna hit enter, and then it's gonna to go to number 51. We're gonna press on 51, and whatever this is over here, it needs to be L01, lithium 01. That means that L01 is gonna communicate with this battery right here that has this address, one down, two down, three down, four down, because we're communicating with this battery to the inverter. So it's gonna go into this one right here. So if you toggle up or down, if you toggle up, you can go up past 10 batteries, 15, I don't know how many you could do on this, but it goes up there. <laughs> so anyways, you need to toggle up or down to get where this display says L01. And then once it does, you're gonna hit enter. Okay, it hits fault. Give it a second and it's gone now. If we hit escape button over here, we get over here. Now we can turn our inverter on. There we go. There's our 240 volts. We just turn these switches on right here. They were, that gives me power to my unit. That is the AC output. And you have the AC input over here. And there's double breakers on those. So flip these two small breakers over here and you are up and running. If for some reason you have an error on there, go back and start over. But the reason, one of the things you can tell right now with this thing running, um, let's see if we have a, we don't have a load on there yet. Um, 
if you take and you unplug this from the inverter within a couple of seconds, maybe five to 15 seconds, right over here, you should get an error code 20. And that's saying there's a problem with the communication with the battery. There's a four and a 20, and that's the error code you're gonna come up with, a four and a 20. So if we plug this back in to the uh, BMS, there it is. Okay, if we plug that back into the BMS, this light, this 20 right here will disappear. There it goes. And it's communicating with the battery again. So it is up and running and you are now communicating your 12 kilowatt inverter with your server rack batteries. So it is a really pain in the butt to hook up if you don't know how to do it. But if you follow these steps, you can connect your batteries. The main thing is, is you have to have these batteries off to set these switches, these dip switches here and down here. If you have your battery on and you try changing that, it won't change until you turn your battery off and then turn it back on. Then it'll recognize the new setting. So you might as well start out with everything off and change your dip switch. And once again, on your setting, on your master battery, this is our master battery, this top one, the EG4. We have to set our dip switches at one down, two down, three down, and four up. That has to be the one on your master battery. It has to be that. Now, the other batteries, it can be any other combination. It can be this one. And any other batteries you have, they have to have completely different um, IDs. No two can be the same. You'll have an error code. So, and then, like I said, you just make sure your green communication cable is going from one battery to the next, and they'll communicate. Batteries will communicate with each other. So, hope that helps. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful and blessed day.